size five. These are your kinesthetic eyes. These feel things and they feel the position of the hand in relation to the gun. So in exercise five, you start with your hand fully on the gun and you lift it until your fingertip, two, two middle fingers or the middle finger itself, is touching the front strap. This orients the web of the hand over the tang if you lift your elbow up. Everybody do this while you're standing. Touch the gun and then put your elbow straighter up. Now, if I'm sitting in a car and I need to find that gun, if I'm standing here and I need to find that gun, if I'm dodging a bullet and I need to get to that gun, I can always find that gun while in motion. Find the gun first. If there's any releases on the holster, thumb or finger, those are operated second after you've oriented your hand. Got it so far? So from here, you have to check, make sure it's empty. From here, I slide my finger in. As soon as that middle finger goes in, I either scoop that gun in or I close my entire hand. Your choice. I like to scoop, bring it in, dry fire it just like we did on exercises one through four. Bring it up every time with the sights aligned. After you get that down, then drop your hand. Touch the gun, find your grip, and bring it up in a normal draw. If I have a thumb release, I simply release the thumb. We'll work on all that stuff another day. But from here, <coughs> hands at sides, drop, touch, come right back up. Then, hands straight up, come in from the top. Hands out holding a carbine. Drop it, find the gun. Watch my hand and arm. No matter where my hands start from, fingers straight down, elbow straight up, touch, and then slide your hand in. And that keeps you from missing. Got it? All right, let's get to work.